Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's Mad About Mini Paper Pads. On the third Saturday of every month we get together and as the name implies we try to dig out those lovely smaller paper pads that we have 6x6, 4x6, 6x8, even the 2x2s. We get those out and we use them on a page. So I'm working today with my collection obsession for the month, which is based on 49 and Market Art Options Spice, one of the most gorgeous, gorgeous collections ever. It's sitting right up there with Auburn Lane for me. So I do have the six by eight paper pads. So I dug out some scraps that I had left over and a couple of full sheets for today's layout. I have this fun photo of Jack. Look at that boy. Look at it. It's even like a little tongue, tongue out Tuesday, although I don't know that it was a Tuesday. Anyway, look at all these leaves in the background and just a lovely photo with the autumn leaves that have already fallen in the background when he was out for one of his walks. So what I decided to do, so I'll come back to this in a minute, is get some um, my whipped cream cardstock out, some of these smaller pieces of paper, and two dies. So, as you know, I've reorganized my dies. I need to do my Christmas uh, stamps and dies, and I should do that with you very, very soon. But since I've sort of taken the majority of my die sets and sort of put them by category, so leaves here, I've got some Spellbinders stamping up, um, even some of your next stamps here. I find that I do reach for them a lot more often. So that is good. So I have these two maple leaf and these are from an old um, spellbinder set that I have. And in theory, they are also, they're, they're supposed to emboss, but that didn't really, you can see a tiny, tiny little bit. In fact, that's one thing. Those of you that have the Gemini Junior, let me know um, if you use it with your embossing folders and how it works. I've not had luck so far. I don't know whether I need to get another sham or, but I've tried all sorts of different combinations and it doesn't really seem to emboss. Anyway tangent. So what I did is I just die cut a bunch of maple leaves with these six by eight papers and my idea is to put those around the page and sort of create a backdrop and a background for uh, my photos. Now Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think I'm going to use that one that way. And then maybe even this one. So, uh, you know, they're the six by eight papers are double sided. So my idea is to get these to create sort of a backdrop. And I also want to frame my layout with this gorgeous, gorgeous chocolate brown paper. I'm going to obviously take a big chunk out of it so that I can use it and we'll see what I can do with that branding strip. So this is just such a gorgeous paper. So I'm going to frame my layout. So that is sort of the beginnings of um, my layout. I also have that I want to get on here. I've got some of these sparkly leaves and they are in a different size. So that brings in a third size here that I got from the lovely Scylla. And I think I would like to get these on the page as well. And I really should put some going up and down so it sort of looks as though they are falling. Oh, I think I'm going to love, love, love this. And then I also have these lovely charms that, oh, they're actually brads. 
cornbreads, aren't they just gorgeous that I got from my lovely friend Helen in my birthday package. And I want to get a couple of those on here as well. And then get my photo sort of in the middle here. So what I'm thinking for the photo is I'm just going to give it quite a few layers and I'm going to do the layers sort of a little bit wonky. So sort of something like this. Like that. And maybe like this or that. Hmm, no, that's not quite how I want them. Let me see. Let me see if I do something like this, maybe. Let's see. Put the orange behind, or do I want the brown behind? No, I think that's a little too dark, so I do think I want the orange. Hopefully brown. And maybe, will I bring in a little bit of that purple? Yeah, I do kind of like that. And then this lovely turquoise. So do I want this down here? Something like that, maybe? Yeah, I do think I kind of like that. And then I could do some embellishing here and get that down in the middle with all of these leaves around. So that's sort of my first idea. Let me go off my friends and get some of these leaves down. The other thing I'm thinking is do I need a little bit of stenciling on the background or splattering? I'm not sure. I'm kind of worried it would be maybe a little bit too much. What do you think? So I'm just going to go off and get a few of these down and then think whether I need to add anything else to the background. And I will get the photo matted and we'll come back and finish this together. I have my gorgeous little bowls here full of the Art Option Spice goodies. And I will be back for you in just a second, my friends. Okay, my friends, so there we go. So I got all of the leaves down and I got my photo matted with the four different mats and I sort of put them, I didn't put them askew in the end. I did put them straight, but offset and in, um, so starting and finishing in different areas and they are different sizes. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but you can see, you can see, and I quite, quite like how that looks and I love these leaves so I love the different sizes different colors different textures and different dimensions and I realized as I was using these lovely terms from Helen that the brad portion is optional so when I opened the package I took those out so I'm not sure I might still pop them in somewhere uh, probably not through the hole here meant for them, but we'll see. So I have them over here um, on my little plate and we'll see. Now I had taken this word explore out and, but in reality here, or, you know, thinking I might sort of pop it there, but really Jack is not exploring. <laughs> He's being a very, very good boy. And just obviously they had stopped in their walk and he's just standing, being a very good boy and letting um, like Joey or one of the girls take his photo. So, and it's black. Uh, I like the colors of the letters, but I don't really have any black. I'm more in the browns and coppers, although it would sort of match a little bit in the photo, but I think we're going to put this aside because I think what I want for my title is this fun 
wood veneer and I love 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 these wood veneer titles from Hey Little Magpie. I love them almost as much well as much actually as my acrylic titles from Bramble, Bramble Fox. They just fit perfectly. Now see I don't want it right in the middle so I think I'm going to bring it over here and that's okay. It'll rest on top of that leaf in just a little bit and I do think I'm going to pop it right there and I do like that so let's actually get that down uh, and you can see that I decided uh, not to do any packaging or splattering and I don't think I will add any splattering but I'll show you in a minute I did bring some sequins out so I think that could be fun and I might add some sequins at the end to sort of just fill in some gaps that might um, be a little bit too obvious for my lighting. Okay, so there we go. Snapshot, because that is exactly what that is. And I like that it's wood. Uh, we have the trees in the back, so it brings in that additional texture and dimension. I like that. Now, the other things that I have here, I have a couple of the chipboard flare from the Art Options Spice Collection and a couple of these wood buttons uh, from Shadney with some paws on them. So I think that could be fun. Now I have some larger spaces here. So I think maybe the chipboard could go there and maybe put this one up here. I do kind of like that. There we go. And then look at these fun little paw wood buttons. I think I would like maybe this one here. I think that might be cute right there. That would bring in an extra little touch uh or would i want the turquoise that might be nice you bring the turquoise there or would i maybe yeah you know what i think i will put it up there and i'm going to do some sequins here because i find putting that there it's a little too much in a straight line so let's put that there and let's maybe bring shall we bring the camera in here I do kind of like that. Or would I do this paw? Yeah, I do like that. I sort of like that paw right there. So there we go. Let's, okay, so let's put these bits down. I think I like that best ever. Whoops. Bring that up there. Hello, fall. I tend to prefer the word autumn or use the word autumn more than I do fall, but Jack won't mind whichever one we use. So there you go. This is going to go in the family album. He is such a good boy, my friends. I swear he really, he is humongous, as you know. Um, and he's what, he's not quite a year and a half yet. But he's just a very big boy, but he's a very, very good boy. Um, let's pop that there. Okay, and then do I maybe want one more right here? No, we'll do some sequins there. But I think I want another one maybe here. Or how about here? There we go. Yeah, I do kind of like that. Maybe the camera? Or do I want these little paws? You know what? I think I want the camera. Yeah, and I want it up a little bit. So let's do that. There we go. Pop that there. Okay, I like that. Now, the sequins, I brought my Copper Fall, which I've already spoken to you about. These are Spiegel Mom scraps, and they were in my stash, and they really go so, so well, I find, with the 49 in Market 
Art Option Spice Collection. So let's sort of just pop a few of these around. And this is going to be a little bit of a different layout, but I quite, I quite like it. So let's bring some of this lovely turquoise and purple and copper. So we have copper there, just sort of like a little floral, which goes well with the leaves. There we go. I like that there. Let's bring a couple down here. Go and we'll put a purple right there. So I like that. Let's maybe put a fun gold one here. And another one there. And let's go up here. We have the lovely green one of the purple here there we go I do like that and then one here let's bring a copper one in here there we go and another purple I hope it's not too dark. It's got sort of very cloudy all of a sudden. There we go. I do like that. So let's add one here. And there. And a purple one down here. There, put a purple one here. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll bring one of the gold ones in here. There we go. And one of the teal right there. Purple there. There we go. So that is just filling it in and finishing it off quite nicely. So I am liking that. We'll pop this there. Let's get a nice purple one in here. Go. Let's bring old one up there so we can finish that off then up here a purple one a copper one and a nice teal one right there okay and then we just need a couple more we're almost done, my friends. I think I'll just pop one right there so that we have a little something extra in there. Let's get there we go. Oh my goodness me. Let's get a purple one here. Put one of the little copper ones in there. There, whoopee, and a purple one, I think, right there. There we go, my friends, and I think that will pretty much do it, and I quite like that. So I think the sequins were just the perfect little finishing touch, so it sort of fills in the holes. It's more controlled than splatters, but it sort of serves the same purpose 
as being a nice little finishing touch. Let's just pop um, a little gold one right there, I think. There we go. Yeah, that finishes that off beautifully. So there you go, my friends. So that is this month's Mad About Mini Paper Pads. Make sure you pop on down below. Follow all of the links to everybody else who is playing uh, along with us this month, therefore today. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Thanks for being here, my friends. Bye for now.